Hello and welcome to another Aspire Help video from CNC Wood Carving UK. This video will demonstrate how to add a form tool to the database. Let's machine our job as far as we can using the tools we have. Then I shall add a form tool T1340E stroke half inch corner rounding cutter from Whedon Tool Company. Let's set up tool paths to machine the component. We shall use a 10 millimeter mill. So, we have our job, now we need to put a radius on the inside and the outside of the job. First, we need to select a cutter we need. And using the cutter data supplied by a weed and tool company, we must obtain the form to be used in the database. So, draw a rectangle using the dimensions E and B. Then add a second rectangle using C and D. Close the window and now align one rectangle to the top. Select both and align centrally. Select 
the 12 by 40. Go into edit, uh, node edit mode and remove the lower line. Then we can use a snipping tool to snip the tool. This is our basic shape. Now add a central line Move it up a little bit, and that's the center line of the cutter. Now we need to add our 15mm radiuses. I've done both. It does you don't need to do both, but I've done both so as to show you what's needed. Now we must remove all the unwanted data. Now that looks like our cutter. Just to check, let's do a little horizontal dimension. And you see that lines up with the other data. Now we only need one side to create a form tool, so we'll use a snipping tool again and snip it away. Also, Aspire will not allow undercuts, so that data must be removed. However, an easier way to do it, so that we can still keep the cutter shape on the screen, is select it Go into node editing mode and just cut it there so that we only have the shape we need. Now to construct our tool we will need to go into the tool database, select where we wish it to be stored under corner rounding Click New. In the tool type, select Form Tool. Now, as you can see, our form has now been converted to a cutter. Now, in here, we need to name the tool Now, in here, we're going to put a little data so as next time we use this cutter, we remember what it is. So as you see, I've put danger. This cutter has a bearing, so do not plunge cut. However, if it's got a bearing on it, Ramping cut won't work either. The next line of information contains the 15mm depth of cut and an offset of 15mm. Also, another piece of information is the tall diameter is 46mm. And that can be checked on the Whedon tool description. Now we set up the tool data. You can set your speeds and feeds to your requirements and apply. Now that tool can be used at any time you wish. So let's machine the inside First, select the inside profile, select profile toolpath, select the cutter we want, 
15 millimeters router. Select it. Using the data, we must set the depth of cut to 15 millimeters. And we want to go on the inside, climb milling. And in the allowance offset, we need to have minus 15. And we'll name the toolpath inside profile radii. So, there we have the first one done. Now we'll do the same for the outside profile. So what we'll do, we'll select the inside radius and we'll duplicate the toolpath. We'll rename it. outside toolpath radius. So we'll select it, select the radius, uh, select the profile, change to outside on the right, calculate and machine. And so there we have our component with radiuses on the outside. Doesn't that look pretty? Of course, with these corner rounding cutters, you can do something sl slightly different. So let's copy this again and we'll rename it Outside Profile Radius Step. So what we'll do, instead of machining 15, we'll machine 16 millimeters deep and see what we get now. As you can see we have a little flat. Of course, if you want to do it a bit more, you can say 18 millimeters. And that gives a nice little edge. You may like to use this when you're making a plaque, a nameplate or something. However, it would look even better if we increase the offset. And so now we have a little step. 
So really, by using by using the depth of cut and the allowance offset, you can achieve some interesting results.